subscribers. So thank you, every one of you, uh, for your support over the years. Uh, it's an interesting day today. Uh, so graduating from Imperial, and they give you a box. I'll let you know what's in the box shortly as we unbox it together. Uh, so um, in essence, this is London, uh, and there is a tower there. Uh, Royal Albert Hall is just about on the other side. We've got the fellow graduates, all, um, and somebody who probably hasn't graduated, walking about. Um, yeah, so this is the gown. Um, the colour of this relates to what degree you have got, and the hood, um, also the colour of the hood relates to the discipline. Um, so this is, I think, a purpley white one, very uh, Star Wars-like, and it looks cool, but most people don't do the Star Wars-like thing, and they just wear it like that. Here we've got my Beric upon tweed tie, which is where my family go back to. So it's a proud day. In essence, there was some talks, um, a couple of people giving inspirational speeches and sitting down for about two hours watching people who you've Hey, somebody's actually watching, that's great. But yeah, so the graduation ceremony itself was two hours, a bit of um, kind of uh, orchestra playing things, and then um, there was inspirational talks. Now let me summarize them. I think that the main bit is about the future. So obviously graduation is a turning point in that if you graduate, congratulations, but then your life isn't over. It's what you actually do with that. Now Imperial College are then trying to tap you for cash to join the alumni, but equally they're trying to say, well, you can make good and good change. So that was important because the main message was that there's future, the future is uncertain, but what you can do is certainly put action to improve your future. Anyway, that's about as profound as you're going to get here. And just following on from the theme, here is the unboxing video occurring. So as in typical fashion, here is the box. Um, and you flip it open. Oh, nice. Look what we've got here. Um, chorizo sticks times two. Macaroons, worn in the peanuts, um, then we've got some chocolate, some unusual crisps, and the best part of all is a zonin prosecco, zonin. So obviously we're going to open the zonin first. Do you mind holding this, please? Yeah. So um, this obviously is a full-size Prosecco bottle and I'm just a giant, but in fact it isn't, it's slightly smaller. So we're going to crack this open and um, earlier on today somebody opened a bottle of Prosecco and managed to hit a different graduate with the uh, cork who was about uh, 10 metres away and then profusely apologised. So that's what we're aiming to do but unfortunately I think it's a twist cap so that would be deliberate and I had no need to apologize so oh it, it's bubbling it's bubbling all right yeah it's bubbling unlike the sparkling water I got from the hotel yesterday accidentally that actually was um, still but just carbonated and not nice I won't name and shame the hotel but uh, if you want to DM me, I'll certainly happy to recommend it. So there we go. Um, there's to the future. And I look forward to being interacting with you all through YouTube. And that's my first go live. And take care. See you. So the problem is, as it's the first time we've ever gone live, we don't actually know how to end it. 
So you may get to follow me around London for a bit until my phone runs out of battery. And, you know, not yet determined what I'll do. Perhaps go on a scooter, likely eat food, but um, for sure going to be hammering out the, the videos when I get home. Let's, let's end this. Let's do this. Let's start the next chapter, hey? Um, all right, let's try here.